we all know that generally speaking athletes are going to have four years of eligibility in college sports so imagine a collegiate athlete having not one not two not three but four season ending injuries the same amount of season ending injuries that most college athletes have seasons if this happened to you what would be going through your mind maybe it's time to pick another career path now you may have guessed that with a dynamic athlete such as Taysom Hill of course he played multiple sports in high school including basketball track and obviously football. Now, outside of football, his best sport was track, where he ran the 200 meter relay, the 200 meter solo race, and he was probably best known for his ability as a long jumper. And while that's cool and all, it doesn't quite compare to what he was able to accomplish on the gridiron. As a senior, he won Gatorade Player of the Year, passing for 2,200 yards while rushing for just under 1,500. This man was responsible for 42 touchdowns that year as he did it all for his team. Taysom had offers from multiple D1 schools including Stanford, Arizona, Boise, Utah, and BYU. In 2012 as a freshman, Taysom Hill started out as a gadget player with BYU coaches looking to utilize his versatility. And we're not just talking passing, catching, running, returning. This cat even served as a part-time punter. It seems like there's no facet of football that this dude isn't at least competent in. Then on his very first collegiate pass, he throws an 18 yard touchdown. Now it didn't take Taysom long to take the starting job and once he got it, he didn't look back. So through six games with only two stars mind you, Taysom had completed 42 passes for 425 yards and four TDs while rushing for 336 yards and another four TDs on the ground. But then Taysom got his first taste of just horrible luck. He suffered his first season ending injury versus Utah State. Now please remember that team. Utah State. Now the short version of this is Taysom Torres LCL out for the season. The longer version of that story is even more unlucky. Plenty of players tear their LCL or MCL or something in their knee, right? Well, this injury happened while Taysom was at quarterback. We're talking the last play of the game and get this, Taysom's team was up by three. Apparently a signal came in from the sideline that calls for the victory formation. He was supposed to take a knee. I don't know if he didn't get the signal, if he ignored the signal or what happened. He doesn't take a knee. He runs the ball instead, boom, tears up his knee, season done. On a play that never should have been run in the first place. A completely pointless play. Completely pointless play, man, that's crazy. The following year, 2013, BYU finally saw what Taysom could be. As a full-time quarterback, he started in 13 games, leading BYU to an 8-5 record. Taysom filled up the stat sheet, throwing for 2,900 yards with 19 touchdowns. Come next season, it was time for a Taysom takeover. Now, Taysom started his junior campaign out on fire, raising his completion percentage from 54 up to 67 percent and through five games he already had nearly the same amount of rushing touchdowns as he'd had his entire sophomore season he led byu to a 4-0 start beating teams like texas houston and virginia but week five would pit tatum against an old foe utah state this was the same team that Taysom had gotten hurt against his freshman year and lost the rest of his season. It was time for some payback, or maybe not. Midway through the second quarter, history would repeat itself as Taysom got his leg rolled under and snapped his left leg. After x-rays, it was confirmed that his leg had been fractured and his season, once again, was over. At this point, I'm sure Taysom had to do some soul searching. He had suffered two season ending injuries in three years against the same damn team, bro. But he decided he wasn't done. He was gonna keep fighting. There was nothing that was gonna stop Taysom from achieving his full potential as a football player. So he strapped him up and got with it. He regained his starting spot and looked forward to the future with the utmost optimism. He began the 2015 season older, wiser, but just as unlucky as ever as he injured his foot in the first damn game of the season. And not just any foot injury, a Liz Frank fracture. This is where one or more of your metatarsals become displaced from the Taurus. Injury like that, oh yeah, that's the season, again. 
Now to recap real quick, that's three season ending injuries. And if you've never had a serious injury, let me just, let me kind of put this in your head. It's not like you just get hurt, time pass, you're back. No, 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 no. First, you gotta decide whether or not you need surgery. After that, there's the normal recovery period, which is usually like somewhere between four to eight weeks or something like that. It's depending on the severity of the injury. Then you have the rehab, which is one of the most painful and just damn near depressing things as an athlete. And the reason it's so depressing is because you know where you were and now you can barely do this simple exercise without excruciating pain and probably crazy fatigue. So it's hard to imagine yourself going back from this to where you were. But you have to imagine it in order to push through and actually get the most out of your rehab. It sucks, man. And this is the third time Taysom has had to do this. So as if all of that isn't heavy enough, during this offseason, Taysom ends up losing his older brother. His big bro Dexter suddenly passed back in their hometown in Idaho. And as a guy who has a brother, I cannot imagine bro i can't imagine and again it's not like there's something that he could have even attempted to prepare for his brother was a seemingly healthy guy he was six years older than Taysom. he had played college football man he was a linebacker at arizona state seemed like a healthy happy normal guy suddenly passes away <sighs> a lot to deal with bro a little bit of time passes and Taysom is granted his medical red shirt to get one more year at BYU. He had gone there in 2011 and it was now 2016 and he'd only played one full season. But as far as Taysom was concerned, it was time to change all that. He was more determined than ever. He changed his number from four to seven to honor his older brother and he decided to channel that pain to get through yet another season. And this time Taysom did something he hadn't done since 2013. He played in all 12 regular season games. But that final regular season game was versus, you guessed it, Utah State. This was a team that Taysom had already suffered two season ending injuries against. And I don't care what anybody says, there's no way you can go into that game without having that in the back of your head, bro. It's just something about this team Every time we play, I get hurt. And not only do I just get hurt, I miss the rest of the season. But I guess you could say Taysom had gotten kind of lucky because, you know, this was the last regular season game of the year. So how bad could it really be? I'll be fine. This time is gonna be different. But it wasn't. Early on, things were looking pretty good. BYU was leading, Taysom was playing pretty well, and he'd made it through three quarters of play he was gonna win this thing and go on to play in the bowl game. Taysom had finally run out of eligibility and it was time to try his luck in the NFL. He wasn't a traditional quarterback, so his pro day was especially important. There, the 6'1 and a half, 230 pound Taysom ran a 4440 and recorded a 38.5 inch vertical. These numbers are obviously extremely impressive and this was much needed by Taysom, but it wasn't quite enough to get him drafted. Fortunately though, following the draft, the Green Bay Packers gave him a call and offered him a free agent contract which of course he accepted. Despite having a pretty good preseason, Taysom was waived on September 2nd, 2017. But the very next day, Lady Luck was finally on Taysom's side. His phone rang and this time, it was the New Orleans Saints, a team coached by one of the more creative offensive coaches in the National Football League, Sean Payton. This was a match made in heaven. Sean Payton has figured out how to utilize Taysom on special teams as both a gunner and a return guy. And recently, he's seen his role expanded into short yardage option quarterback, tight end, and wherever else the Saints decide to use him. Like I said earlier, he gets a ton of hate on Twitter from fantasy football guys who want the Saints running backs to get all of the short yardage touchdowns. These guys are hilarious. Like, like check this one out, check this one. This is from last night, right? This dude says, I'm literally gonna lose my mind when I lose this game. 19 points is all I needed with Kamara and Peterson combined. And I'm still gonna lose. I hate fantasy football. I, <laughs> I hate fantasy football. I hate Sean Payton. I hate Taysom Hill. 
And for no reason at all, I hate you. <laughs> but now that you kind of know what this guy has been through in order to get into the position that he's in, how can you hate on that? He never gave up through tons of adversity and ends up finally landing in a spot that seems perfect for him. It's not very often you see a guy in the NFL playing this many different positions and doing this many different things.
Taysom Hill in at quarterback. Taysom Hill takes a snap, drops back, looking to throw. Lost one deep to the end zone and into the hands of Taysom Hill. Taysom Hill does it all. Saints quarterback Taysom Hill. The best multi-tool in the NFL. You'll see him play quarterback, tailback, wide out, tight end, special teams. This kid does everything. The Swiss Army knife of a quarterback. So is there anything this backup quarterback can't do? Let me get that door. Oh, thank you. So nice of you. You really do do it all. What do you say we have a good meal? Oh, yeah. We'll talk about the year that you just had. Let's do it. OK. Hey, table for two? Mm, yes. Great, right this way. After you? Thanks, I think. <clears throat> Can I tell you about the specials? This is weird. What are you talking about? Uh, booms in the shot. Oops, sorry about that. How are you doing this? You're the guy that does a little bit of everything very well. Have you always been like that? Growing up, especially playing football, like you had to specialize. Oftentimes what happens is the guys that start to mature a little earlier are your best athletes, you just throw them at quarterback and that's yes. what happened to me. Hill quickly came of age. In high school, he was named the Idaho Gatorade Player of the Year. He continued to excel at BYU and at one point was in the conversation for the Heisman Trophy. However, after sustaining four season-ending injuries in five years, it appeared Hill's career path would take him somewhere other than football. I obviously hoped that I would get drafted. But um, you weren't counting on no. it? No. I studied finance in the business school. I had multiple job offers mm -hmm. at, at different firms locally. You were already prepared to go into the business world? Yeah. But there was always that, like, what if? Yeah. I don't want to get, like, four or five years down the road and be like, man, I wish I, I would have just tried it. Yeah. His stock began to rise during his pre-draft workout after his football numbers were just as impressive as his financial ones. You ran your 40 time, 4-4-40? Four, four, yeah, I got lucky. Well, come on, that's not luck. <laughs> A 4-4-40? Four, four, yeah, very impressive. As a rookie free agent in Green Bay, Hill was still considered a long shot to make the NFL. But everything would change, thanks to the keen eye and imagination of Sean Payton. They'd asked me to take a peek at Max McCaffrey. He was a practice squad receiver candidate. So I was looking at Max on preseason film. I keep watching the tape, and I'm watching this hill, this hill. Taysom Hill from BYU, this guy, I think is a great talent as a quarterback prospect. And in the meantime, here are all the other things he can do. And halfway through the tape, I knew I wanted to claim him. One play in a preseason game can make or break a career. So it's um, 2017, and you make your NFL debut in yep, December, yep. and it's on special teams. Yeah. Up until that point, you had never played special teams. Never. And this, I didn't really know what to expect, mm -hmm. but I was excited. They created an opportunity for me, and they had a vision for me. Whitaker on the return. He get to the 25, brought down by Taysom Hill. Welcome to the active roster, Taysom Hill. The opportunity presented itself, maybe not in the same package that you wanted, yep. but you took it, and you surely made the most of it. In fact, you got the game ball yeah, from Coach, Coach Payton Coach after that ball. game. You a beast! 2018. <laughs> I say it like that because yeah. it's got a, it's a blur to observe. I can't imagine how it feels for you. Walk us through all the different positions you played in the 2018 season. I played every position but O-line. Taysom Hill is the quarterback. Taysom Hill splits out to the right. Hill is the wing to the near side. That's Taysom Hill in motion. Now he's out on kickoff coverage. Every day I would go into the facility and I would look at a personnel chart to see where my number was because each week and each day it was somewhere else. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. You played every position but O-line, which you actually could be on the offensive line because I heard <laughs> you could squat 625. Yeah, well, Is that I real? play O-line, that's real, yeah. This dude can squat 625. Is anyone listening to this or <laughs> are you serious? I've always been kind of a meathead. Set the shrimp, oh boy. 
All right. This looks good. Can we get a shot of this? No worries. I got it. What is happening here? Come on. I do it all. Clearly. Has the Swiss Army knife nickname yeah, caught I would on? Say, I that... would say the Swiss Army knife is full on. The times I'm called the Swiss Army knife is incredible. <laughs> all the time. He's the Swiss Army knife. He's the Swiss Army knife. It's a good place to be for you. You show up to your team and you say, hey, I'm whatever you need me to be. Taysom Hill is through with the punt block. I love feeling like I can come in and contribute to our team success. But they fake, and they fell forward, and they have a first down as it went to Taysom Hill. So you play almost every position. Do you have a favorite? The favorite is definitely quarterback yeah. still, yeah. All you can really hope for is an opportunity to be a starting quarterback for one of the 32 teams. According to his coach, the Swiss Army Knife could be carving a path similar to a former BYU legend and all-time great. He says he's Steve Young is what he is. That's what Sean Payton says. Ted Taysom, wasn't that Steve Young? Hall of Fame comparisons aside, for now, Taysom Hill is content to feed his football knowledge while stepping into any role he is called upon to play. What did you learn about yourself in the 2018 season? To have the opportunity to work and learn Coach Payton's system mm -hmm. with Drew, it's incredible. Yeah, boy! It's a touchdown! Woo! I realized again and again how much fun I have playing the game of football. Well, congratulations on all of your success, and I look forward to seeing you in all the various positions this year. Thank you for the time, Jason. Thank you. And the food was great. Food was so good. Compliments to the chef. This guy's made such a mess. No tip. Twenty-one to seven, New Orleans. Whitaker on the return. Can't get to the 25, brought down by Taysom Hill. The return by Whitaker. Fonzie can't make it to the 20, brought down by Taysom Hill. Greatest special teams player in the history of the National Football League. Oh, down there on the end, number seven. And by the way, I'd like for you to refer to him from now on as the ubiquitous Taysom Hill. <laughs> he, he literally has been everywhere here today. Cleveland to become. They've got to be able to shut down that run. Force him into a pass game. And Hill is bringing it out. The backup quarterback can fly. And he goes out to the 40 yard line. Ooh, one of the fastest quarterbacks ever in the combine. Yeah, I mean, he's deep in the end zone and he's drifting backwards. He didn't even time it up. Great job by his guys up front, though. And it's just a tremendous job of what they did from a blocking standpoint. 47 yard return. at the top. Is he going deep? <laughs> Hill keeps it. That's it. Still on his feet. Down to the Giants, 45. It's a rarity for this high on team. Oh, they got a fake. They got a fake. Jason Hill throws it in. Jason Hill still in there. He gets it on a toss. He's looking to throw in the direction of Breeze. Not there. Takes off. He's got it. First down inside the 30. He's Ben Stadium where the Super Bowl will be played. He's only the Falcons team since 2002. Taysom Hill on the return. Plows over Matt Foster, the kickoff man. As Hill brings it out. Big athletic do-it-all guy. Picks up the block and look at Taysom Hill. I'll tell you, he can turn it on with speed. That's to us. It's not going to happen at this 
offense doesn't get going. The punt is blocked and is recovered at the 29 yard line. Taysom Hill coming up with a huge play for the Saints on special teams. There's one way to generate some offense. Fantastic play. This kid does everything. The quarterback is Taysom Hill. So Reed, here we go. And he pulls it. So here's Hill trying to get to the outside. And bouncing off of him at first was Roby. The invisible coming on the outside. Did you see the Where's JJ Watt? We haven't seen him tonight. Can he get a pressure? Breeze with time. To the end zone. And into the hands of Jason Hill. This way with the football, turn the corner, get some yardage inside the 30, out of bounds at about the 25 yard line. First down, New Orleans Saints. Larry, what's up? Throw to Hill, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. With a lot of backup guys. And you see this design, the outside receivers are blocking immediately. They're going to throw the ball. First down. Well, great look at Taysom Hill. We really like Taysom Hill as a quarterback. Hurry, he's out. He's second and goal. Breeze. Touchdown. Taysom Hill. Third receiving touchdown this season. And two touchdowns. First and ten. Blocked by Wolford. He's got him. Taysom Hill. Inside the 15 near the 10, and hit on the play by Rennick. He's making a lot of punts, Rodney. <laughs> Whoa! Allen has the kick blocked. And the Falcons recover it at the 30-yard line. It'll be a short Hill. field. Taysom Hill. Individual rush. Who does it all. Comes through on special teams. What if they double team by the Thomas here? Shovel to Hill. Using the blockers and in for the opening touchdown. Five, third and one. And Hill on the run for a touchdown. All of it. The Taysom Hill touchdown. This is really well done by Sean Payton. Linebacker out. Now you've got the guard, fullback, kick out. Really your tailback running the ball, but there's no. Kamara in motion, they will simply hand it off to Taysom Hill, who puts down his shoulder and is nearly impossible to stop. It. He's going to break that one, too. Second and two, let's see, 27 for 28, does he have another? Yes, Taysom Hill, and how about another touchdown as well? You know, they call him the Joker. From the 39-yard line, way fake to Murray as Breeze fires downfield and Hill makes the catch for a Saints first down at the Titans 16-yard line. The one game against the Saints back in 2013. Breeze on third and seven. It is complete for a first down to Taysom Hill. He's inside the 20, still going. The 10, the five to the end zone for a Saints touchdown. How does Taysom Hill get this wide open? <laughs> They're going to throw deep down the middle. Harris got it. How about that play with Breeze on the sideline? It, it puts the pressure back on you. You have to go out there offensively. On first down, end zone. Hill won again. Taysom Hill. When they hit the big one down the field of Deontay Harris. Instead, this is just a straight run to the left. They can't stop him. He's still going. Jason Hill. Twenty-eight yard carry. Well, Anthony Harris comes up. He's got a chance to make a tackle. 
tackle on it. He just refuses. He, lower, he lowers his shoulder. 